Hello dear students, how are you all? This is Praful. I hope you all are doing fine. Welcome to One Page Biology. In today's video, we are going to uh, discuss a very important topic which is called as transcription. Dear students, this particular topic is important because from this particular topic, there are questions which are asked in your board exams as well as in the NEET exam. So this particular topic is from unit number 5 genetics and evolution of 12th standard NCRT biology and the name of the chapter is molecular basis of inheritance. So are you all ready for this particular topic dear students? So what exactly is transcription dear students? Transcription in simple words is nothing but a flow of information which is from DNA into the RNA. Now we all know that dear students DNA is the genetic material of the cell whether it is a bacteria or a fungi or a plant or an animal. So DNA contains information which is nothing but the information of proteins and this particular information of proteins is copied from DNA into another molecule which is called as RNA. And let me tell you dear students this information of proteins in the RNA is in the form of something called as codons. So it's like a coded language. Now dear students this particular process of transcription consists of three basic steps and what are these steps now dear students the step number one is called as initiation now the word initiation itself means the start so what exactly happens in this particular process called as initiation now dear students remember in this particular diagram as you can see that the DNA which is present in the form of two strands right now one of the enzymes dear students which help in the formation of RNA from DNA this particular enzyme is called as RNA polymerase dear students what does this enzyme do this enzyme RNA polymerase helps in the formation of RNA from the DNA so that means since DNA is two stranded there will be a formation of a single stranded RNA on the DNA strand itself so dear students how does the RNA polymerase form RNA on this particular double stranded DNA so RNA polymerase has to locate a particular site on the DNA and this particular site is called as a promoter site so dear students the promoter site actually helps the RNA polymerase to recognize the DNA so once the RNA polymerase binds to the promoter site it knows that from this particular point the process of transcription has to start now dear students step number two is elongation so what exactly is elongation now dear students once the RNA polymerase attaches to the promoter site on the DNA what it is going to do is it is going to open the DNA strands so once the DNA strands open it becomes bubble shape and this particular bubble is called as a transcription bubble once the DNA strands are separated then the RNA polymerase enzymes starts forming the new RNA with the help of the nucleotides you may wonder that on which particular strand the new RNA is going to be formed because DNA has got two strands now remember Dear students, the formation of RNA always occurs in 5' dash to 3' dash direction. That means the formation of new RNA is going to occur on the strand which is 3' dash to 5'. Dash. So the strand which is from 3' dash to 5' dash end is called as the template strand. And this is the strand on which the formation of RNA is going to occur. Whereas the other strand of the DNA which is basically from 5' dash to 3' dash end that is called as a coding strand. So this particular coding strand has got the exact same sequence which is there in the newly formed RNA. The only difference will be the RNA will be having uracil instead of thymine. So dear students in this particular process that is elongation the RNA polymerase will keep on joining the nucleotides and will keep on forming the RNA. Now dear students comes a third step which is called as termination. So as the name suggests termination what do we mean by that termination means to stop that means dear students in this particular step the RNA polymerase enzyme is going to stop forming the RNA. So how does it stop forming the RNA as you can see in this particular diagram once the RNA polymerase it reaches to a particular site on the DNA which is made up of a specific sequence and this particular sequence is basically a poly A sequence. So dear students once the RNA polymerase reaches to a poly A sequence it is going to get signal which is of termination so who gives this signal this signal is given by a particular factor which is called as a rho factor this rho factor will go and attach to the 
polyase sequence and it will give a termination signal to RNA polymerase to stop the process of transcription. So as soon as the RNA polymerase will go and attach to the poly A sequence, the process of transcription is going to stop. After this, dear students, the RNA which has been formed completely is going to get released inside the nucleus of the cell. And once the RNA has been released in the cell, the process of transcription is over. Dear students, now this particular RNA which is essentially formed inside the nucleus is called as the mRNA. The reason why is it called mRNA because it contains the message of the proteins which is in the form of codons. The full form of mRNA is also known as the messenger RNA. Likewise, there is also the formation of rRNA as well as the tRNA. And all the three RNAs are important for the formation of proteins. Once the RNAs are formed, there is a separate process which is called as translation which also occurs inside the cell. So dear students, I hope you have understood this small concept of transcription from the chapter molecular basis of inheritance. If you have understood the topic, please like, share and subscribe to One Page Biology. If you want me to make videos on some other topic, dear students, let me know in the suggestions. So see you all in the next video, guys. Take care of yourself. This is Praful signing off. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.